As more cases of the Zika virus are reported around the globe, fears about the mosquito spread nerve affecting pathogen are spreading along with it. While scientists work to develop a potential Zika vaccine, new research at the National Institute of Health identifies several potential therapies from among 6,000 drugs already commercially available or undergoing clinical trials. The research, published in the journal Nature Medicine, could help speed discovery of medications for Zika and prevent the neurological disorders associated with it. That includes microcephaly, the Zika-associated condition in which babies are born with abnormally small heads associated with improper brain development, including a long-use treatment for worm infections that suppress the pathogen's replication. Another molecule currently in clinical trials for liver disease prevents brain cells in a lab dish from dying following Zika exposure. That's a potentially important result given the fetal brain defects associated with the virus. The study also suggests combinations of these two classes of compounds could be the most effective way to treat Zika. It is unlikely the molecules shown to halt viral replication would be approved for pregnant women because of potential toxic effects on a fetus. But virologists say treating men and non-pregnant women could decrease a pregnant woman's risk of infection by reducing the amount of virus circulating in people around them. The work is part of a recent trend known as drug repurposing. Rather than engineer compounds from scratch, scientists search through multitudes of already existing ones to see if any can treat a particular disease. Wei Zing, a researcher at the National Institute of Health's National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences and one of the study's lead authors, says the team will start animal studies shortly, testing another 80,000 compounds with the help of robots. The NIH says the researchers have filed a patent covering the new findings with the goal of incentivizing companies to commercialize the research and develop Zika-busting drugs.